Good evening, everyone. I want to welcome you to the uh, Greenfield Acres Phase 4 Drainage Improvements Meeting. This is a public meeting. We've sent out uh, mailers to the residents in the uh, Greenfield Acres neighborhood to, to update you on where we are on this project. Uh, today is Thursday, August 19th, 2021. Uh, my name is Michael Wellbaum. I am the project manager on this project. I have on the call with us today project engineer, Brian Darby. He's with James Diot Engineering, uh, and they've been the, the project engineer throughout all of the phases of this, so they're, they're intimately aware of, of all of the aspects of this project. I'm also very pleased to, to welcome uh, Council Member Flores to the meeting, and Council Member Flores, if, if you would like to speak, I sent you a, a request to unmute yourself. If you'd like to, to say something to the group tonight, you're certainly welcome to do so. Hi, can everyone hear me? Yes, sir. Hello. Okay, great. Hey, uh, thank you, Michael, and uh, welcome everybody to the meeting. I appreciate everyone taking the time this evening uh, to learn a little bit more about our continued work uh, for drainage improvements at Greenfield Acres. Thank you very much, and and we've we've been excited in the stormwater office to to work on this project, and and we're particularly excited to. Uh, uh, wrap this up with phase four. Tonight, I just want to give you kind of a, a brief background of the project and go over our schedule. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about project scope and exactly what phase four is. Uh, and then at the end, I'll open the floor to questions. Also, as we're moving through the meeting, if you think of questions that you want to put in the chat window, uh, there is a chat feature and you can put your, your questions in. And, I'll try to address them if I see them as we're moving along, but certainly at the end, if we've missed any, we'll go back and, and pick those up. So just a, a little bit of a, a project background. Of course, the area in blue is where we've been focusing the improvements for Greenfield, uh, for Greenfield Acres. Uh, this project is a predominantly a stormwater project. However, we have partnered with the streets uh, side of the Transportation Public Works Department to uh, repave streets as we go through and do the storm drain improvements. So you'll, you'll you notice if you've lived out there that the streets that we have worked on have been getting repaved as we've been moving through the, through the neighborhood. Um, this project was uh, precipitated by widespread uh, neighborhood flooding that was occurring in lots and homes uh, streets throughout the neighborhood, uh, and this project is intended to address uh, the flooding uh, that has been occurring, some of the flooding that's been occurring, but also to prevent uh, changes here from affecting downstream citizens, uh, which is the reason why we've put in detention ponds. Uh, this has been a multi-phase, multi-year project, and uh, as I mentioned, this is phase four, and it is the final phase. Uh, we hope to wrap everything up with this, this one last phase. Uh, so you'll notice in the image, I have some colors. Um, the, the green colors on the screen are the streets and areas that we finished. So we've completed work on South Ridge. We've completed, uh, well, we haven't quite completed, but we've mostly completed the, the infrastructure work on Cindy Lane is complete. Uh, we've completed storm drain on a portion of North Hill. We're currently working in the blue area, which is Greenfield uh, to the west of Cindy Lane and North Hill also to the west of Cindy Lane. Those two streets are currently under construction. And then the area in yellow is the primary focus of this meeting and, and of phase four. Uh, areas that we're going to work on will be North Ridge, west of Cindy Lane, a little bit east of Cindy Lane to T-Head, 
uh, and then we'll be working on T-Head and Greenfield uh, for the length of the straight east of Cindy Lane. So this last phase will be a pretty big project, but uh, we felt like it was important to go ahead and get all of this done and, and move forward. Um, I do have a little milestone schedule. Uh, right now we're in the middle of design. We're at a 60% complete level. Um, we hope to have design wrapped up uh, by the end of the year. Um, we're planning to advertise and take bids on this project early next year um, with the hope of going to construction in the spring or summer of 2022. So um, maybe a little bit less than a year from now we should be getting underway in, on the construction. We'll have more public meetings as we move forward. So we'll have one more meeting uh, at the end of the design process and then we'll have a meeting before construction. So you'll have a couple of other opportunities to get updates on where we are on the project. So the next uh, thing I wanna go over is, is the scope of the project. So what you see on your screen is kind of a, a blow up of the areas where uh, I mentioned we were gonna work on Northridge, T-Head and Greenfield. Um, the bulk of the work involves installing new storm drains and connecting those storm drains to the infrastructure that we've put in in Cindy Lane uh, with the exception of a, a short piece on Greenfield uh, to the far east. Um, that one will connect to Marine Creek Estates uh, in, a, in a system that's already in place there. We're also installing inlets in the borrow ditches a uh, little bit of grading work, but nothing too significant, uh, but enough to get the inlets to capture the water and, and convey them in the storm drain system. And then, as I mentioned, we partnered with the streets department to reconstruct and, and repave uh, the streets that we're working on. So that'll include North Ridge all the way to T-Head. The, the, um, it'll also include T-Head, and then it'll include Greenfield Road from Cindy Lane all the way to the east. Um, and then I mentioned in the uh, last slide that we were almost done with Cindy Lane. The one last thing that we want to do is go back and relook at um, making the ditches along Cindy Lane a little less significant. Um, with all of this infrastructure, uh, this should alleviate a lot of the flow that's that's going on down to Cindy Lane at the moment, uh, and allow for some regrading of the ditches uh, because the the capacity on Cindy Lane won't be as uh, needed quite as much as it is now. So the next few slides, I'm gonna just kind of zoom in on each one of these areas and let you see a little more detail about what's planned. Uh, again, we're at the 60% design level, so we don't have everything quite complete, but, but we're getting there. Uh, this is a, a shot of Northridge Road uh, right at the intersection of Lee Crest and, and moving, uh, moving to the east. This is the upper end of the project on North Ridge, and you'll see we've got uh, the main storm drain line right down the middle of the road in blue, and then the, the laterals, the little uh, the short pieces of line that go to the, to the inlets that'll be on both sides of the road, um, at least at the end of the project. The north side of the road will, will continue having inlets the rest of the way down, but the south side of the road has an existing system in it. So we're only gonna pick up the upper end. The rest is functioning. Uh, this will help it function better, but the rest is already a functional system. And then continuing down Northridge Road, uh, you'll see that the end of it, um, it ties into the line to the west of Cindy Lane, ties into the existing system that we put in Cindy Lane uh, a couple of years ago now. And then heading to the east, you'll see the line continues uh, at the other end of the system that we put in in Cindy Lane, you, you see a gap in the blue line and that represents where the existing lines are. Uh, we continue on with drop inlets and are, are continuing up the street. You'll also notice in this view uh, that we have um, this, the uh, street pavement shown in gray uh, down the middle. That's the repaving that we're planning to do. So that's, that's incorporated in this design. The next image, we, we kind of flip on the side. So now north is pointing to the right of the screen and uh, you'll see that we come up Northridge Road, turn and head north up T head with this line. Uh, again, same concept of putting uh, drop inlets in the borrow ditches with, with a little bit of grading to, cap, to capture the flow. Um, 
and help the system function the way it's intended. And then um, where we just left off on the last sheet comes in right where it says match line three. Uh, that's the end of T head drive. There's a little system that heads off to the west on Cindy Lane, but this page mostly shows what's happening to the east, the line that's gonna go down and connect to Marine Creek Hills, uh, uh, Marine Creek Estates, and uh, you also see the same drop inlets along the way with some grading work that's gonna be done, um, street repaving, similar concept. And then the last page shows uh, Greenfield Road. There is a section of Greenfield Road, it goes about six or eight houses up, uh, that ties into the existing Cindy Lane section and picks up flow um, and, and directs it to Cindy Lane. The rest is the extension that goes down to T Head, and that's on the on the other side of the screen. Um, also, the same concept with drop inlets, a little bit of upgrading in the borrow ditches to help uh, capture water and convey it into the into the drop inlets. This is the same screen that we started with, but I thought I would go back to this overview just so now that you've seen some detail, you can, you can put it in perspective and see uh, kind of the whole picture of what we're trying to do uh, to finish out the storm drain system um, and, and complete this project for the Greenfield Acres neighborhood. It was a pretty short and sweet presentation, but I'm at the point where uh, I'm happy to take questions and I'm going to, uh, uh, let's see if I can uh, allow allow people to unmute if they have questions. Y'all should be able to unmute yourself if there are any questions. I'm happy to take take them. Uh, Andy asked if there are bar ditch if the bar ditches continuous along the road or just areas shown by pink. Uh, Andy, they're they're mostly going to be in the areas that we showed in pink. I'm going to scroll back up mostly just in the areas in pink. In some cases, they'll be a little bit more continuous than others, uh, but, but in some, they're very focused. We're, we've worked with the design engineer to keep these grades very flat, so there, there won't be anything steeper than a four to one, I don't believe, um, and, and they'll be very minimal, um, should still be able to mow and, and get into the bar ditches. Uh, Sandy asked about speed bumps on Northridge. Sandy, we're not planning to put in speed bumps. Um, there is, a, uh, I believe, a process for doing that, for requesting that, um, but I don't know exactly what that process is, but I'm gonna make a note. Uh, maybe I can follow up with you on that. Um, Rod asked, where are they gonna start paving North Hill? Rod, that's a great uh, Michael, question, uh, actually. Uh, yes. I'm sorry, this yes, is Councilmember Flores. I, I was just about to respond to that uh, message on chat about speed bumps. To be clear, the city of Fort Worth no longer installs speed bumps as a matter of uh, TPW policy since uh, 2007. It was uh, a risk management issue because the city kept getting a lot of um, claims against it for people getting their vehicles damaged. And then on top of that, first responder vehicles would also be damaged. So no speed bumps. Great, thank you very much for, for clarifying sure. that. Uh, uh -huh. That's that's actually good information for me. I did not know that. Sure, not, not a problem, thank you. You're welcome. Um, the next question came from Rod about starting paving on North Hill and Rod, I had a conversation with the contractor about that this morning. Um, we're they, they've been doing some of their exploratory work. Uh, there's some gas line uh, issues, and we're actually setting up a meeting to talk about that. Uh, they've had a, they've had some delays on the project, partially due to weather, partially due to shortages in getting materials, namely concrete. Uh, we've made some changes to the project to help alleviate that, but it still has kind of slowed things down more than we anticipated. Um, so I don't have an, an, an exact date on starting paving, but I know they are moving in and starting to, to look at that. Um, Mark, you asked about uh, drain inlets going on T-head. Um, so let me scroll back up there for you. Uh, on T-head, this is a picture of T-head. Um, there are 
several drop inlets uh, moving along the street, both on the east side and the west side, mostly concentrated on the west side. They're going to be in the parkway area. Uh, in some cases, we were able to put those on property lines uh, to, to kind of center them. In other cases, we've centered them between driveways, but they've been placed where we think they'll be most effective at picking up stormwater flows. What other questions can I answer tonight? Andy, you asked, uh, please address the plans for phasing the work to ensure reasonable road access to the Eastern homes. Um, I don't think we've gotten to that point in our plans. We haven't talked about construction phasing yet. We're, we're only uh, just a little over halfway complete with the plans. Uh, that is a concern that we do wanna look at um, it is a challenge as well because the storm drain has to go down the middle of the road. So um, it, it may require some temporary paving or some temporary access, but that is something that we usually start looking at between this point in the design and finishing the design. So at the next meeting that we have, we should have a better handle on exactly how we plan to phase the work and, and provide access. Um, Mark, it does, it, it, you, you may have a drain in front, of, in front of your yard. I don't know which one is yours, but uh, it, there's a good chance on T head, quite a few of the yards are gonna have storm drain inlets uh, in, the, in front of them. If you've been down uh, North Ridge, um, you'll, you'll see some, North Hill also, you'll see them. Uh, what you see on the, in the, uh, and the parkway there is, is typical and similar to what we're going to be installing uh, on the rest of the streets. Uh, Rod asks, are they going to complete the work in progress before starting the next phase? Yes, um, the work that they're doing right now should be completed within the next uh, six weeks, six to eight weeks, if we can get, get the paving going. We will not start this project until that one's done though. I don't, I don't see any, any reason why that would happen. Um, oh, uh, thank you, Council Member Flores. He, he put a, a post up there, Sandy, answering your question in writing, so you've got that uh, recorded. Any other questions or concerns I can answer for you tonight? Again, I just wanna let you know that we will have, um, uh, we will have another meeting at the 90% level, so you'll get another crack at, at the design and, and we will have refined it, uh, particularly with that access issue. Mark, your, your house is the house on T that has T head drive. Okay. Um, so sprinkler systems, that's a good question. We, uh, we generally put an allowance in the contract in, in our construction contract to allow for sprinkler system repair. Uh, contractors, well, we know we're gonna hit them, we know we're gonna damage them. If, if they know ahead of time and they can make provisions for it, but that you don't always know where the lines are going. Uh, so as they're working, uh, just, just like what happened on North Hill, we did, we did hit some sprinklers and they repaired them. Uh, as soon as they could, or they capped them temporarily and then they come back and repair them. But anything that, that is in, in the way like that will we'll get repaired or replaced. Um, this hasn't been asked, but the same question comes up about mailboxes. Uh, occasionally a mailbox needs to be temporarily relocated, but the, the plan is always to leave the, the mailboxes back where they were or, or replace them if we have to. Um, Andy, is there any flexibility in, ex in the exact location of the inlets? Um, there, there is, um, it, it kind of depends. In some cases, that's a hard question to answer. In some cases there could be, but in a lot of cases they've been placed um, based on other utilities and things that you may not see on the screen right now. Um, but I'm, I, um, we're happy to take a look at it on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, if we did move them though, I don't think they would move very much because we've already got drainage areas established. Uh, if it's a matter of tweaking it a little bit one way or the other, I think that's 
uh, something we can take a look at, but, but making a big move may be very difficult. Um, Mark asks, when, when will this phase begin on T-Head Drive? How do I get a copy of the planned work that you are showing? Um, this is being recorded, so the video will be available uh, if you if you want to look back at it, I don't know about posting the slideshow, but that may be a possibility. I'll have to talk to our communications guy about it. Uh, if if it is posted, it'll be with the video on the city's website for the for the project. Um, oh, in terms of of the phase on T head drive, um, I don't know exactly when where T-HEAD will fit in the overall project schedule, and that, that generally is, is driven more by the contractor and, and how he wants to phase the work. Uh, we are looking at starting it next spring, summer timeframe, so uh, you could expect uh, maybe by this time next year that construction could be underway, um, possibly on your street or at least on some of these streets. Are there any other questions I can answer for you guys tonight? I sure appreciate everybody coming. This has been a good turnout. Um, I had a question about driveways, uh, paved driveways to be impacted. Generally, the way we're redoing the street, we're not changing grades. So generally speaking, we're not gonna affect uh, driveways and we'll be able to tie back into them. Uh, however, as part of the design going forward, uh, they'll start looking at uh, if, if there are any driveways that we need to, to reconstruct or, or reconfigure uh, because they don't align with a new pavement section. Uh, but generally, we try, to, we try to limit that as much as we can on, on streets like this. Um, and Sandy asked if, they'll, if, if we'll be notified before they start construction. Absolutely. Uh, what will happen is moving forward after we bid the project in the, in the early part of 20, uh, 2022. Um, once we have a contractor on board, we will have a pre-construction meeting and we'll invite everyone who's on, on the roads that are impacted. So you'll have that opportunity to kind of see what the contractor's planning, scheduling, uh, but before they begin work, they put door hangers out on all of the doors on the, you know, the immediately affected properties. So, so if you, uh, you'll get a notice about a public meeting, you'll also get a door hanger letting you know uh, who the inspector is and how to get a hold of someone if you have a problem. And that'll, that'll also have the date that they're going to start. A lot of good questions tonight. I appreciate all of all of the all the questions. Dennis asked uh, if uh, we'll be digging new borrow ditches on Greenfield where they do not exist. Um, there will be some. They're not going to be necessarily ditches that run the length of the road. Um, this is the eastern half of of Greenfield Road. They're, they're mostly isolated right around the inlets. The drop inlets um, sit a little bit below grade so that water can be captured and put into them. Um, so along Greenfield, there will be some borrow ditches, but, but it's not going to be the length of the road, and, and they'll be as, as small and insignificant as possible. Um, the, so I, I had a question about the, the phasing. So on this screen, you see there are lots of segments of line. Uh, it is possible that, that these could be phased independently or maybe not, not worked on together. A lot of that's largely driven by the contractor and, and the number of crews that, that he's planning to commit to the project. So I can't really tell you that they'll be necessarily done in these phases, but that's probably a good guess that, that the contractor would work on these in, in pieces. Um, and, and like I said, as we move forward through 90%, we'll have a much better handle on, on what, the, what a phasing plan might look like. Um, I know that hasn't been really looked at at this point. 
Um, the green hash mark areas, um, whoops, went a little too far. Um, those are indicating where where survey has picked up drives. I don't know for sure if those are drives that are going to be uh, necessarily redone. Uh, I don't know why they aren't on all of them. So they're, I, I'm not sure what that's indicating at this point in the in the design. Um, Mark asked the cost to just curb and gutter the streets as you work on the streets. Uh, we get a lot of questions about putting in curb and gutter. Um, some residents want curb and gutter, some don't. Some like it the way it is. We generally don't put in curb and gutters. Uh, that requires a lot of additional utility relocates and, and utility reconstructions that we don't necessarily have funding for in a stormwater scenario. Um, we, we, at this time, the water department hasn't, hasn't uh, indicated that there's any need to replace the water and sewer utilities on that scale at this time. So uh, to answer the question, we, we have not uh, looked at doing carbon cover on the streets that don't have, already have it. Uh, Andy asked about the next presentation, and and Andy, you're really you're really welcome for the presentation tonight. I, it, I'm I'm glad to be able to inform you guys, and I'm particularly happy to have Councilmember Flores here uh, also to talk with you. That that's uh, that means a lot. Uh, the next presentation scheduled it has not been scheduled yet, but I would I would uh, look towards possibly a, a December time frame. Um, certainly, we'll mail out, we'll send out mailers uh, before we have the next presentation. Um, and, and it may be a format like this again, or we may be in person. I'm not sure which way that will go. Dennis asked, when the road is repaved, can the approach to a driveway be added? Um, yes, it can. Um, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure how to answer that question. If it's a driveway um, that doesn't exist already, it can be added, but that would be something that the homeowner would need to, to work out. We generally don't put driveways in where one didn't already exist, um, but that's certainly something that can be looked at when, uh, on your particular property. It would, depends on the condition of the existing driveway, and, and like I said, I don't know that we, um, uh, I don't think we've gotten quite that far in our design to, to nail down what driveways need to be reconstructed and what driveways don't. Um, I'm the one to contact. If you, um, I'll, I'll show my contact information at the end, but you're welcome to send me an email or, or call me. Uh, we can, um, um, we can talk about your particular case and what's going on. I'll scroll down to that. So I went all the way. So uh, my name is, is Michael Wellbaum. Telephone number is 817-392-7343. And email address is michael.wellbaum at fortworthtexas.gov. Um, those are the those are the best way to reach me. Well, again, I really appreciate everybody coming tonight. I I don't see any more questions showing up. Um, Thanks for the information. Member, you're welcome. Um, uh, Councilmember Flores is right about the development development department. Let's talk about your your situation and and if that's what if that's the direction you need to go, that's certainly uh, certainly a good course. Well, I don't I don't see any more questions this evening, so I'm I'm going to end the meeting. But I really do appreciate you you all coming and and participating in the meeting. 
And again, my contact information is on the screen. If you uh, have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me after this if you think of something later that you didn't ask. Uh, again, this is recorded. It'll be posted on the city's website with this, along with this project. Uh, and I'll check on the slideshow. I, I'm not sure if we post those or not, actually, so I'll find out. Again, thank you all for coming, and I hope everybody has a, has a good evening and a good weekend coming up. Thank you, Michael. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody.